oh, in Iraq, cool. I had my nine mil loaded, ready to go under my pillow. Now it's on the nightstand. <laughs> okay. It's not, just, it's not well, real comfortable keep, keep under handy. the pillow. So. Yeah, really. But it's in the house on the nightstand next to your bed. Yes, and an extra clip. Oh. In case I have, there's multiple people and i got to pop it out and put another one in. What is I'm it good now? to go. An extra clip of bullets. Right. So I can pop it, drop right. it, put a new one in. Right. Okay, good. I thought you said extra people or something. If there's more people that are breaking in, more than one. Oh, I see. Got it. Okay. Got it. Sometimes they, they come in groups and you got to kill them all. Got it. And when you came back from Iraq, how long was that? How uh, long ago? I came back. When did I come back? I came back in December of 06. So I think it's so December of 06. Because we left in November of 05. Okay, so it's about five years ago, give or take. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like so that. So 2006, the year of 2006. And the nightmares, is that something you still have or is that worn they, off? They come and go. I don't remember them. Uh -huh. But I will wake up covered in sweat and the bed soaked. Uh -huh. And I haven't gone to the bathroom, I'm just sweating. Yeah, got it. Um, and then sometimes I'll wake up and I'll feel like I'm in the middle of a firefight and my heart's racing. Mm -hmm. And then I look around and I see BJ and the dogs and I'm like, okay, you're just crazy, just chill okay. out. And then I'll get up and like go watch TV or something to get my mind off of it. Okay. Those don't happen as much, but I'd say every couple of weeks I soak the bed, soak me. It feels like I'm fighting in my head. You're fighting in your head? Okay, what's fighting? Usually there's two sides to a fight. Telling my headache to chill out and it's telling me to stop what I'm doing. What is it? It's telling me to stop what I'm doing. Okay. Let's respect that voice and ask it, what is its concern? What's its objection to doing what you're doing? I assume it has a good reason for saying this. What would happen if you did continue with this? Or what would you lose if you continued with this? It would bring everything else back. It would bring everything else back. Okay. That's a good objection. It's very important to respect that. So it is important to stop. Unless I want to bring them all back and put them on the wall. Well, that's another possibility. Talk to that voice that wanted to stop and ask, would it be all right if they all went on the wall somewhere? And we can also adjust where on the wall. We could, rather than have them over there on the wall, it could be around behind you on the wall or way off to the side or way off to the other side. Or we can make other arrangements. They're in a box. And if you, if you take one out, the mm -hmm. lid opens and they all come out. Okay. And there's a few that are already out that can't go, I can't put them in the box, but the rest of them are in the box and I don't remember them. Okay. But if I start to, they could all come back. Okay. And if they were to come back one by one with lots of time in between, and you were to take each one and put them on the wall somewhere, would that be all right or would that be still a problem? I couldn't bring them out one by one because when they come out, they fly at me. Okay, that's what had been true in the past, right? Yeah. Okay. So they all come at you at once. How do they come at you? Do they come at you from the front or from the side? Do they blindside you? Yeah. Blindside? It's, like, it's like they're coming from the side here 
And when I look this way, then they're coming this way. Okay, they come from all sides. I can understand that it's important to stop. I keep, can the, keep the rest of them in the box. I can smell the dead bodies again. Okay. Okay, now, remember the thing we did with the movie theater? Do that with the dead bodies. That means putting your head back, straight back, like this. I'm going in the movie theater. I'm going to grab here because it's easier for me to hold. Back a little, a little farther. Yeah, like that. Go back to that movie theater. Behind the plexiglass. Can you run a black and white movie of that event? Just stay behind the plexiglass and you can feel my hand on your arm. It's like, it's like the glass is in between it now. Yeah. But it's just there, yeah. by the other side of the glass. Right. But now it's just like a picture. I'm sorry? Now it's just like a picture, but yeah. it's not, it's not floating. I can't push it away. It's just there. Okay. Can you run a movie of that? So that it gets to the end where everything's okay again? do like a snapshot movie that's like okay. pictures okay just like, sliding forward okay all right my hand here can remind you that you're safe here in this chair here in boulder seeing those things from the past it might help if you put that brown color in them those snapshots that are flying past. I feel like they're in the room with us. Uh -huh. I don't feel like I left anywhere. It's like they came here. And okay. They're hanging out. Yeah. But they're behind the glass, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So when you get, let me know when you get to the end of that series of snapshots. So then I want you to do the reverse thing, where you step into the end, go backwards really fast. That makes it feel like it didn't happen. Okay. Is that okay? Like it wasn't me. Yeah. That'd be all right with you. Yeah. So now that I know what to do, I can do it. And, and I feel a lot better than I did when I came in. So it obviously works. Great. Oh, you, when we were out during break, you said something. I had asked you if you'd been through other treatments or other processes, and you said something about that. Yes. I... I think I saw I don't know, eight or nine different tranks, and all they wanted to do was give me meds. And then they had all these stupid things they wanted to do, like a, like a tapping thing where you thought about the war and they did this tapping thing. Mm -hmm. And I was supposed to help make it lessen. And they had this finger thing. You had to follow the finger. Right. While you thought about the bad th It was stupid. Yeah. It didn't do anything. It just kind of pissed me off. And then on to the next drink because that was a waste of my time. I just realized how lucky I've been. I haven't pissed you off. No. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. You smiled when you opened the door. You totally calmed me down when I got here. Oh, great. So. Well, is there anything? Uh, here's, here's, my, here's my plan. You tell okay. me if it works with you. I would like to keep in touch with you and, you know, call, follow up in a week or so. How you doing? And you let me know if you get in a bind somehow and or you forget one of these processes. I don't think you will because you're good at that, at remembering. 
Um, but I'd like to follow up with you and uh, take it from there. Okay. I'd like that. Would you like that? Great. I, uh, I like having these tools now because they didn't, they didn't give you any of this when you came back. I mean, they, they talked to you about you need to calm down, and if you're angry and you're about to hate your wife or your dog, you need to get in your vehicle and drive away. And if you're about to run somebody off the road, you need to pull over and park your vehicle. I mean, stuff like that when we came back. Mm -hmm. but Nothing. Didn't tell you how to do it. No. Right? Nothing, nothing really useful other than don't do something that breaks the law. <laughs> think, think about it before you do it because we're not in Iraq isn't, isn't and that where you're not the law. <laughs> isn't that where somebody goes, duh? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Thank you, Captain Obvious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Okay. Anything else you'd share with us about this? sessions we've had? It's like a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. But I'm calm now. Mm -hmm. and before I wasn't. Right. I wasn't even calm yesterday when I left. I was actually pretty spun up. Mm -hmm. But now I feel like I can, I have a way to cope with everything. Or something to do at least to make yes. it better. Right. Or stop it. Yeah. And maybe if I do these positive things all the time, that it'll go into my subconscious, and then when I'm sleeping, it'll be positive stuff, and I won't wake up sweating. It will. So it would be nice. Yeah. There was, there was something in your email, you said something about um, the past didn't bother you as much as it has or something like that. I forget exactly what. For some reason, it's not haunting me anymore. Not haunting you. And how mm -hmm. is that different than before? Before, I'd just be doing stuff and then I'd just have random thoughts that would sneak up or mm -hmm. I'd be trying to sleep and I would just be flashing back. To, and, to a rock and so on? Yeah, to, mm -hmm. what, to sleeping in my cot or... Mm -hmm. in my sleeping bag and ever since we went through that process of putting the stuff on the screen and running it both mm -hmm. ways and then right. putting it and hanging it mm -hmm. every time those thoughts come it's just kind of like a mirage of the pictures now instead of Great. what's actually used to be where I would be back living through it and feeling guilty or angry or pissed off or whatever it was well that sounds like a huge difference it's to me it's a lot better. Yeah. When it comes to that, it's a lot better. I, I'm sleeping better. I stopped taking my sleeping pills and I can still sleep. Great. So that's nice. Wonderful. And there was something about nightmares before. Mm -hmm. Any nightmares lately? Not lately, no. Not since we met? Not since we met. Great. 